Welcome back to Keep It A Secret Home and Garden. What I want to talk to you today is about cutting the perfect door. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. have here is a door these are door slabs and one of the first things you want to make sure when you're cutting your door slab is to make sure you have the top and bottom in the right position this is an easy one to do as we have arch tops sometimes not so easy you can check by the doorknob the doorknob should be like approximately 44 inches from the top of the door to the center of the doorknob should be 44 inches so double check that before you cut then our next step is clamp. What you want to do for the perfect cut is to clamp a straight edge to the door so it's foolproof. Now I've been cutting doors so long I typically freehand them, but because this is a very nice home and these were $100 a slab, which is a little more than hollow cores, these are solid doors. Um, because of that, I thought hey, I'm gonna play it safe and I've got kind of an old, eh, it's not my favorite saw, it's a cheaper saw. So I'm gonna play it safe and, and go ahead and uh, you know use a straight edge. So what you wanna do is you take the saw and you wanna place the saw. I wanna cut approximately one inch off the door. So I pre-measured that mark and I've come in one inch and the guide, the guide is gonna ride along the one by four. And I set the depth of the blade. You have to set the depth of the blade so that the saw will ride above the board. If I had the full length of the blade set down, the saw would rub on the board. It wouldn't have the clearance. So you set your blade a little shallower. It's probably a good idea to do anyways on most of the things that you cut. So there you go, there you have it. And then I will go ahead and I'll show you how easy breezy this is. You'll get a bird's eye view. Once you have the uh, clamp in place, perfect cut you can see the plug that I ripped off now these are solid doors had this been a hollow core door what you would find is inside here would be hollow because they have now they used to cut them they used to make doors where there'd be an inch and a half block down here and you could cut an inch off and still be okay but now they've stopped doing that they've reduced the size of their plug so now you have to replug the door so what you do is you can run this through a table saw Take a table saw, set the depth, and run this and shave each side of this off. And then you slip that plug back into the door and glue it and pin nail it. Or if you don't want to pin nail it, you could clamp it overnight and re-block the bottom of the door. Very important on bifolds. If you don't do that with bifold doors, you will not have the pin support at the corners to support the pins. So there you go, there you have it, all right? how to cut a door perfectly straight every time. Use a clamp, make sure you have the right saw blade. This is a very nice blade. Um, what is that, a 40 tooth plywood finish. It's a plywood finish blade. You don't wanna come in here with some framing blade and you'll blow your door all apart. All right, and remember, when you paint doors, you should paint all six sides of the door to honor the warranty of the door manufacturers they like to see all six sides of the door painted. Don't forget to remind your painter that's what you want done before he gives you a quote. That may not be included in his price. All right, but it is the proper way to go. I'm gonna also link this up to some like greenhouse, either greenhouse building or possibly I might link it up to a vine training, pumpkins and vine training. So it gets back to the gardening side of things. So you can have your choice of what you'd like to watch. All right, man, remember, keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Keep it a secret, Home and Garden Tips is ba busy, baby, busy, 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 busy. And one last final tip, you know how to test a door? All right, I'm gonna show you right now. This is how you test a door. You take the door, 
and you open the door halfway, all right? And it should stay there. If it doesn't stay there, if it closes by itself, then it's not installed correctly. Doors should not close by themselves. They should not open by themselves. They, if they're level, square, and true, they should stay put. All right, make sure you test your door. Keep your handyman honest. All right, man, keep them growing. Remember, turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel, and hey, leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in future videos, what kind of seeds you'd like to win. We have our seed giveaways, or are there other types of giveaways that you would like? All right, man, join us at Keep It A Secret Home and Garden Tips. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend.